This simple geometry question is going to stump a lot of people. Let's see if we can figure it out. So the question is, what's the angle of the line? So we have a line right here and we're trying to determine the angle of the line. Now we do have a multiple choice question and let's take a look at our answers. So A is zero degrees, B is 360 degrees, C is 180 degrees, and D is 200 and 70 degrees. Now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then of course, I'll fully explain the solution. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we're trying to find the angle of this line, and here are our choices. So what is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer here is C, 180 degrees. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence in your knowledge about lines in geometry. So good job, but a lot of you out there may still be confused on why the answer is 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and get into why that is the case right now. All right, so to understand the answer to this question, we need to really understand the definition of an angle in geometry. So I'm gonna explain that definition with this figure in just one second, but uh, let's take a look at a few other basic figures in geometry that you gotta really understand. So I'm going to draw three different figures right here and you tell me what they are. Okay, so we have this figure, this figure, and this figure right here. All right, now if you think you know the answer or the definitions of these three figures, put that into the comment section. Matter of fact, we'll call this A, B, and C. All right, so what is A? Okay, now of course I'm freehand uh, sketching here, but A is a line, okay? So a line in geometry is a straight line, but it has two arrows on either end. In other words, it's infinitely long, okay? So these arrows indicate that this line is gonna continue on to infinity in either direction. Now, if you have something like this, this is called a line segment. So if I just kinda of chop a little piece of this line right here, this is a line segment and it has endpoints. In other words, we, it has a beginning and an end. All right, so this is a line segment, this is a line, and this right here is a what? Well, this is called a ray. So a ray, has a starting point and then it continues on infinitely in one direction. Okay, so a ray can look like this or it can look like this. Okay, so we have line segments, rays, and lines. So we form angles basically uh, with any one of these shapes. Okay, let's take a line right here. So if I have one line right here and another line right here, well then angles are formed, right? So we got angles going on between these two lines. But basically, when we think of an angle like this, what we have is a starting point, okay? So we have a starting point, and from this common starting point uh, emanates either two line segments or two rays or one ray and one line segment. And this common starting point is called a vertex. Okay, so that is what an angle is. And then how do we measure an angle? Well, in geometry, we basically have two ways. We can measure angles by degrees, or we can measure angles by something called a radian. All right, so if you're not familiar what a radian is, you'll learn this in like uh, courses like trigonometry. Okay, so we're gonna work with degrees right here. So again, we have an angle, it's formed by a common starting point called a vertex, and from this vertex emanates either a ray or a line segment. So now let's go ahead and take a look at a few common angles so we can understand what is the angle measure of a line. All right, so a great way to understand angle measures is to first understand a right angle. And a right angle is an angle that has 90 degrees. So you can see a right angle right here 
we have a vertex and then two rays emanating from this vertex. So the angle measure here is 90 degrees. Now you can also see this visually with this uh, symbol right here, this notation, and that is like a little uh, square or box in the corner of an angle. So anytime you see an angle like this with a little square in it, that's indicating that that angle is a right angle, i.e. its angle measure is 90 degrees. So we'll uh, talk about degrees here real quick. So here is a circle. Now, if you start from the center of a circle and just kind of go all the way around and do one lap, that's 360 degrees. So just kind of keep that in mind. So from here to here, if you had a protractor, this would be 90 degrees. Okay, so that is a right angle. Now, let's talk about another type of angle as we look at a right angle. Now, an angle that is less than 90 degrees, maybe an angle like this, is called an acute angle. All right, so we'll just kind of abbreviate that with A. So an angle, again, that is less than 90 degrees, maybe something like 45 degrees, that is an acute angle. So we really start with acute angles, and then we go to right angles as we open up this angle. Now, if we exceed 90 degrees in this direction, for example, what type of angle are we dealing with? Well, we're talking about something called an obtuse angle. All right, so here is an obtuse angle. Now notice we still have our vertex and here we have a ray and another ray. So we're measuring the angle from here to here. And this, uh, for example, could be like 120 degrees. So if I just kind of drew a line or a line segment or a uh, ray from here, you can see that this would be like a right angle, 90 degrees, and then we continue on maybe like another 30 degrees right here for a total sum of 120 degrees. Okay, so this is a big clue on uh, the answer to our question, right? So we are going to continue to open up this angle, and the more we open up this angle, we're going to get to what shape? Well, if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think we're going to eventually get to the shape of a line you would be right. Okay, so let's take a look at that. And here is our line. And we have a vertex. And the angle measure of this line is 180 degrees. So if you think about a circle, for example, and here is the center of this circle, if we kind of go around this circle this way, this is 90 degrees. And then if we go another 90 degrees, we have what? Well, we have 180 degrees, but this is a semicircle, right? So we're going from here to here. But if you notice the shape, that is a line. So you can kind of think of this as two right angles as well, right? So we have a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle right there. So in total, we have 180 degrees. So this tends to confuse a lot of people. But just to keep in mind, when you uh, see a line, it does have an angle measure, and that is 180 degrees. Okay, so if this video was interesting, if you learned something, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, you got to check out my full main geometry course. You can find a link to that in the description of this video, along with a ton of other courses as well. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.